to make sure that that's running. All right. Welcome to the channel. We are going to be playing some France just to, you know, get our legs back. I have not been playing Victoria 2 in a while. So we're going to be getting our legs back and, you know, playing a relatively large nation, but a nation that, uh, you know, isn't nearly as overdone as Prussia and all that. And so I'm going to give myself the goal of restoring France's natural borders, which is like the Rhine. So that would be this whole area and some of Catalonia as well. <clears throat> because of the fact that we can get a bunch of cores from it and it should be really interesting. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. So, um, based on the last time that I played France, the major problem at the very beginning of the game, let's set our sliders to max real quick here, um, the major problem at the beginning of the game, in HFM at least, is the massive amount of emigration that we have. Um, we're going to start on medicine, um, and so the issue for us right now, presently, is going to be trying to quell this emigration problem that we're going to have for pretty much, you know, most of the game, because it's going to really hurt our troop counts and everything. Um, so I'm going to cheat a little bit because I know that I'm going to get some events to take Algeria pretty soon here. I'm going to start moving some troops over and we're going to go from there. So let me just make sure that we are all set on our sliders. We're going to adjust tariffs once we know what we can get away with, right? Um, let's see. Three transports, three transports. Let's combine these two. Do we have any other navies? Nope. All right, Restorazione. And so this is just an event that says that the Italian states are going to unify. Not really all that necessary to click through. Blended isolation, sure. We don't want Britain going around allying people anyways. Um, as for influence, um, we are importing right now wool tea and lumber so as natural you know, we should probably try and get some wool tea and lumber um here who exports wool and tea Go to trade Dude, this is the part of being rusty you know where, like oh man how can i who creates all the wool I think it's actually I think it's down here yeah all right the East India Company the Sikh Empire the Ottoman Empire the Austrians and the Qing so we can like try and spear these guys mm, let's go ahead and build some Go ahead and build up to what we can build up to. All right, let's let it run. So demand concession, sure. All righty. We want to go to. We want to go to war immediately. Um, let's see which state this is. We want Iran. Set a constant. Constantine has sheep. So maybe we go to war for Constantine. Go ahead and do that. Let's take out these guys as they're going to be an issue for us. Well, they're not going to be an issue for us, but they're going to be annoying. <laughs> Just, you know, a little different, but that's okay. Kabu, sure. Morocco, sure. I don't really care. We are here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. That's pretty much it. See, our soldier population is falling already. Oh, that's because we can't 
afford anything. <laughs> of course. Try and raise tariffs a little bit. We wanna we wanna have low tariffs if at all possible, but you know, sometimes it's not possible. That's okay. All right, we're doing better. We're doing better now. Are we an interventionist? Just don't have the money to do anything about it. That's the problem. Set that hotkey. Ugh, I really, uh, the soldier. The soldier problem is a big problem with France. Let's see, do we still have this free demand concession? Nah, we're not going to waste infamy. We're not going to waste infamy when we can, when we, you know, we're going to be able to take them all eventually, right? So, not really that big of a deal. <clears throat> Alright. Hey. Go ahead and try to spear these people at least. It's not going to be the most important thing in the world to spear them, but and increase our What we really need to do is stop this absolutely horrific issue with Alright, Arc de Triomphe. Great. Alright, so the Blight of 1836. Uh, Fight of Pretoria and Festans, the dreaded potato blight, has struck one of our farming provinces. So we could spare no root or let them eat cake. Um, well, let's spare no, effort, spare no effort. Just to, you know, at least try and quell this. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is why we need medicine as soon as possible as France. Otherwise, this is gonna get way out of control. All right, Democracy in America. In 1835, Alexis de Tocqueville published his Democracy in America, which was immediately recognized as a classic in both America and France. In it, he remarked on the litigiousness and religiosity of Americans, something that remains a puzzle to Europeans today. Tocqueville is one of the few historians with more than one classic to his credit. His other great work, The Old Regime and the French Revolution, was published in 1856, just three years before his death. All right, so we gain prestige and gain relations with the U.S. of A. I influence us there. Ooh, we might want to alliance here. Oh no, they ally with it. Well, the Ottoman crisis will inevitably make sure that that's a problem for them, so I'm not too worried about that. Dude, what, what has to happen for the left bank? We need to have invented and government. Our soldier populations are still falling, which is not great. we got the same event. King of Sardinia wants an alliance. Great. All right. So ranches, uh, we could get livestock, and Alençon, I think is, I'm not sure where it is. Alençon, oh, it's looking right at it, huh? I'm real dumb. I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking at it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, it produces cotton. Um, we're gonna keep it that way. Jesus Christ. Look at our population. It's plummet. Not great. Not great. <clears throat> Let's try and increase relations with the Austrians here. 
They're going to be important in our in our war here. Whenever we need to uh, go to war with Prussia for the Rhineland, it's going to be very important. Ugh, this just disgusting. Well, maybe once the Ottomans fall out of GP status, we can ally Russia. Man, look at our population just plummeting. That's not great. That is not great. We can't subsidize, right? Mineshopper from Venezuela. That's kind of weird. Sure. Let's lower taxes on the rich, just so we can uh, maybe get some uh, maybe we get some factories to upgrade. Maybe. Strong maybe there. Hmm. Could also maybe start trying to influence Switzerland. We really don't need to influence the Kingdom of Sardinia any more than we already have. Yeah, we're not allowed to do anything. Ugh. Orleanist. I hate the Orle Orleanist party. We could just switch to Legitimist. Sounds fine to me, personally. Let's go ahead and do that. Order is liberty. Can we change that? I remember being able to change that at one point. But... Yeah, I don't see any. Alright, anyways. Let's check out some of our decisions. So this requires expressionism, State and government. It seems like state and government is going to be very useful for us. Naval professionalism, state and government. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, state and government is probably something we want to look at, take a look at. No oh man, we're losing money again. Oh. Ah, yes, right. Of course. Let's start getting our subsidies up. And then, let's see here. I don't really want Mazzini arrested. Il de France. Let's see here. <coughs> Silk and regular clothes. Let's check out where most of our craftsmen are. A lot of guys in Paris. A lot of guys in Bordeaux. A lot of guys in Saint Etienne. Saint Etienne. Uh. <laughs> Looks like Bordeaux is gonna have some uh, increasing, increasing shit here. But maybe if we go to Bordeaux. Oh wow, there are no factories in Bordeaux. I find that odd. Oh wait, no, it's part of a state, which is Aquitaine. I'm a dumbass. All right, so Aquitaine has a wine factory being built. Maybe we should build a uh, cannery. Could use some canneries. Jesus Christ, we really need to close the borders is what we need to do. <laughs> Open those factories. Fund the building of new ones. Seek Empire can be influenced again. Probably the atmosphere. Great. We don't really need anything else out of them. 
Sorry, I accidentally alt tabbed there. All right, cool. We don't really need anything else out of them. We just kind of wanted their, one of their sheep. A Catan player's wet dream. All right, so let's check on how our intellectuals are doing. We're about to be able to move some intellectuals away from the Rhone, which is great. Allying Sweden never hurt. Probably maybe start influencing them. <clears throat> Stop influencing the Sikhs, since I don't think anyone really wants to, uh, I don't think anyone really wants to, you know, do anything about that. Alright, so, Belgian nationalization program, they became great power, so we can't, um, let's go ahead and re uh, affect their sovereignty. We don't really want to allied with Britain. We really don't. Got a war with them. Got discredited here, so we're gonna fall back on our position a little bit. Alright. Uh, just a little lower. Probably want some ideological thought, and then we can go into positivism. Uh, this will be done in 1840, so we really, really gonna have to just go straight into idealism. All right, so Louis Napoleon, an outspoken critic of our regime, the current head of the Bonapartes, has been granted asylum in Switzerland, and from there is demanding our subjects to challenge our legitimacy. Should the Swiss, should we demand the Swiss extradite him? Yes. Absolutely. Gosh. Population issue is just massive right now. We're losing militancy though. Queen Victoria has ascended, which means that very soon the German states are going to start being at each other's necks for supremacy of Hanover. Which, for our interests, is just dandy. Put up our military spending, that way we can get more soldiers. Can't believe I forgot about that. <laughs> well, nothing is being really built um, would expect to be being built. That's okay. Do we have any projects that we can fund? Railroads? Sure. We can probably build some railroads of our own. While also upgrading our port infrastructure here, which desperately needs upgrading. <clears throat> Especially if we're going to go to war with Prussia soon here. Alright, we got a pop- we got a pop growth tech. Great. Awesome. Alright, I think we're going to sequence here. Belgium doesn't usually become a great power, I'm proud of them. Alright, that probably means that we could possibly form an alliance here. No? Who are we allied with? The Dutch? The Dutch are a great power? No. Who are we allied with them? Let's see here. Is it because I have too many great power allies? Oh, it's because I'm yeah, allied with Spain. Not interested in, <laughs> in you, Spain. Alright, great. Awesome. Okay, we could annex Mayotte, uh, gain Maori and Comoros. All right, let's figure out where that is. Comoros, all the way down here. 
Oh, it's these islands here. Okay, sure. Why not? After all. <laughs> and, uh, I don't see the need to, uh... <laughs> needs upgrading yet. Let's see here, what else? Uh, Aqua 10's getting some... Right there. And our influence, let's add them to the sphere. Great. <coughs> Let's check out our commerce tech here. Yeah, not a lot we can do there. Maybe it's time to move our national focuses though. So the Rhone, yeah, we can remove here. And then maybe put in Midi. Sure, why not? After all, why not? Um, okay, so wave of colonial unrest. It is clear that if there was perhaps something in the air that year, some theorize that it may have been due to unusual solar activity, others maintained it was nothing but a series of unfortunate coincidences, a convergence of catastrophes, if you will. But whatever caused it, 1839 saw a wave of unrest spreading through the French colonies like wildfire through a dry brushland. Alright. Concessions to the natives will come at the price of serious loss of international face, but can we handle not giving it giving them? Alright. So we could lose 15 prestige, out, or we could remain calm and then give them some militancy. Let's do that. Prestige is way harder to come by than, <clears throat> than would cause us to worry about what what is happening to some people in colonies that we don't really care about. Why did we gain that CP against the Argentine Confederation? Oh well. Not of particular importance. Ports. Sure. Spain discredited us, edited us in the Ottoman Empire. So try and no, oh, wow. Britain does not like us in that front. <laughs> That's okay. Go ahead, discredit me. There we go lay off for a little bit. Alright, 1840 elections and an extra national focus. Awesome. Let's encourage intellectuals. How are we doing here? We're about to move away from that. We should be researching idealism, which is awesome. And, okay, so on we go again. <clears throat> and we still have this pretty major problem here. We want to be reactionary. Ports are so expensive, man. Oof. Military access from the UK. Oh, sure. Why not, after all? Try and increase relations with the Austrians again. Just to make sure. Alright, so Alan saw again. 
We were really fond of wanting to change that. Right, age of liberalism, not great. <clears throat> Basically it just means we're going to get liberal event spam. Not the most fun. That's okay. Anyone trying to do anything with our spearlings here? No, no. We don't want any of that liberalism in our country. Uh, There's one faith and one faith only. Orleanist. Nobody likes the Orleanists. Aha, there we go. Old order must be defended. Sacrifice mining efficiency. That's crazy talk. All right, let's move all away. How are we doing on percentage? Of it? Not great. So we're gonna keep encouraging. All right, classics rediscovered. And when I read the Athens of the Athens of Pericles, the progressiveness of these ancient societies always astounds me. Here I am, thousands of years later, a less free man than they were then, back then. The 19th century saw a resurgence of interest in the ancient classics. Many of the ancient societies, Rome and Greece, were looked to for inspiration by liberal thinkers, seeing in them proto-examples and experiments in those same traditions of freedom that they sought to implement in the modern era. A local reform club, club has republished some select pieces of ancient literature that are becoming high fashion among the ed educated elites of the Kingdom of France. Honestly, have you nothing better to do? <laughs> Ooh, of artillery. This is why we need the reactionary in charge. That way we can get to spending what everyone wants. What's in the kingdom? Had an increase of relations with the Austrians again. Look for yeah, yeah. For reactionaries in the upper house, always, always more reactionaries. We need to close the borders. It's time. Napoleon first returns the body of Napoleon Bonaparte, who died in 1821 on St. Helena, was returned to France in 1840. During the first days after his funeral in the Dome des Invalides in Paris, hundreds of thousands paid, them, paid him their respects. Grand Dome. A coup attempt. Send the troops! Alright. Treatise on economics. You do not want anything to do with <clears throat> liberals. <laughs> that is bad. Very bad. We do not want liberals in this country. Probably not discredited in Sweden anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> what can you do, right? Hey, we can... Start building some uh, 
start building some honest to god troops again. All right, we need we need artillery badly. Let's build as many as we can. <laughs> See how that goes for us. Jacobins, not great, <laughs> but that's okay. Got the suffrage movement going on. Agitation. Let us remember the dead. The Treaty of Vaitangi. In 1838, Jean-Francois Langlois, commander of the whaling ship Cachalot, embarked on a grandiose scheme for a French colony at Akoroa. After a dubious land purchase from Maori, he established the Nanto Bordelais Company in France to carry out the project. And in 1839, King Louis-Philippe agreed to provide assistance. The French representative for the settlement, Captain Charles-Francois Lavaud, sailed for New Zealand in 1840. A month later, the ship Comte de Paris set off for Akaroa, carrying 53 emigrants. French schemes sparked debate in England and France, and bowing to pressure to colonize the country, the British government set out William Hobson in 1839. He signed the Treaty of Vaitangi in 6 February 1840 and claimed sovereignty of the South Island on 17th of June. UK must negotiate with us directly. This is not worth <laughs> going to war over. Alright. So, da, 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 the Algerian Rebellion. Not long ago, Algerian bitterness towards Ottoman rule made them almost welcome French intervention. Our colonization of Algiers in the northern coast, however, has given rise to resistance under the leadership of Emir Abdelkader Abdel Al Jaziri. The man has united the Maghrebi tribes and has now launched attacks on several colonial settlements. So, let's get the concession. We can deal with the infamy. That'd be a good deal. Alrighty. <clears throat> Sounds like a reasonable man. That's a lot of troops. Agitation dies down. Good riddance. How are our factories doing? Any of them need upgrading? No. But this machine parts factory could use some... Motion dismiss. Thing to do with liberals. So many wineries being built. This is absurd. Sounds like a reasonable man. Alright, watch on Paris. Fast and true stand the guards in Paris. At least if a local poet is to be believed. A poetical pamphlet decrying the state of our nation. Its political backwardness and oppression has inflamed feelings in one of our states. All around the kingdom of France, cries for national unity can be heard, and as liberals tick to the streets, protesting the old order, calling for national unification within our cultural brethren in other countries and a liberalization of our political system. We should consider dispatching troops to provinces where liberal agitation is present. close to closing the borders <laughs> which would be a great boon for us let me tell you that way we wouldn't be losing all these people colonial crisis and i argue that the present resurgence of native unresident colonies due only to the continued repeated and wanton mismanagement of our own officials all right um, yeah. 
who cares? How considerate. <clears throat> Sounds like a reasonable man. Aha! Alright. Now we can roll back some things. Oh, we need no voting. Yeesh. All right. Ruling party only. Gerrymandering. Go with ruling party only. Right. We'll be able to quell this a little better. That done here. Do some ink there. Go with early railroad, or we could go down positivism and state and government, which could be important. Let's check to see what the left bank requires again. State and government. And they're ahead of us on military tech, as I recall. Yeah. Well, let's go with state and government. To start off with. Sounds like a reasonable man. Alright, religious temperance. For it is not the nature of man of real, unadulterated faith to spend his life idly wasting away under the shackles of an oppressing and uncressing, unquestioned vice. We must strive for the betterment of ourselves. Let's get more moralism. Who doesn't want more moralism? Fund this winery a little bit more. <clears throat> more liberal agitation. Ugh. Good riddance. Yeah, reactionary, all right. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, baby. People want suffrage. Ha! I laugh at you. We don't take pride in that publication. Why would we take pride in that publication? Absolute blasphemy. Um, no. why did I click build navy? Sounds like a reasonable man. Always more reactionary. Always, always. Could use more transports though. Europe. Sure. Yes, roll back everything.
Not really worried about that. What I'm worried about is... What I'm really worried about is Prussia. <laughs> hit at best. We can try. <laughs> we can certainly try. Liberalism, you know. Alright, so liberal insurrection in Bois. Death to my king. Death to the my king. A hoarse voice cries. The streets in Bois have come alive. A local injustice, or the perception of one, has animated the unwashed masses into rebellion against our rule and threatens to spread to the rest of the state. Alright. Let's send in the troops. Sounds like a reasonable man. All these, all these preachers, they sound like very reasonable men. <laughs> Good riddance. Across the Alps, a great achievement. <laughs> Ambassador insulted. As long as you are not allied with Prussia, I have no issue with you. You could always subsidize them. That's a great way of... Get your draft. Up. That way we can... Yeah. Anti-military. Anti-military? You want it? Anti-military? Old order must be defended. <clears throat> send in the troops. Always send in the troops. Even if it means lots of rebels. <laughs> Always, always, always send in the troops. <laughs> troops are to be trusted. <laughs> Everyone else is not. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, we really need to get on that, uh... We really need to get on this closing the borders issue. <laughs> Minus 9k a month. 
Ouch. That is rough, let me tell you. Let's check out. Okay, we can move our national focus now. We still need more intellectuals, though. Let's move everybody down one. Blast. Alrighty. We're just gonna <laughs> keep considering it. Uh, uh oh. I, I accidentally clicked something that will feed the feed the liberals. Mistake. Oh well. of reactionaries. <laughs> Weird. So, let's try and get some uh, engineers going. Alright. A treatise on economics. I don't want people to become liberal. Absolutely not. Answer, answer the paper. Nice level. There. Jeez. Fine by me. They can do whatever they want <laughs> when it comes to that stuff. We just kind of need to, you know, weather the storm right now. The expedition. Lambert. All right, great. And in the truth, always send. Crush them. No voting allowed. None of that. So consider it. What's it worth to you? More reactionaries. <laughs> Always more reactionaries. Our industrial score is not increasing, however, which is worrying. <clears throat> Once we can close the borders, we can start building up our troops again. And really start passing up the Prussians. That's what it's going to take. Long live the king! <laughs> Plus 10. <laughs> Plus 0 0.1 militancy, that's, uh, that's quite a thing right there. We shall consider it. <laughs> Let's 
so much liberal agitation. <laughs> uh. Militancy issue, pretty big. All right. Close the border. That's it. <laughs> yeah, now we're now we're talking. That is the right amount of militancy gain. <laughs> population though. So that's always nice. Alrighty. Right to gather. A bill has come before the government in Paris regarding the right of people to gather. Many of that feel that the reforms have allowed the French people to become too liberated. They gather in crowds, protesting. They are right. We cannot abide by this sort of thing. Yeah, screw the meetings. <laughs> yeah. Screw meetings. Meetings are dumb. Italianism. Honestly. All right. Let's see here. Can't roll back. Franchise. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it.
<laughs> that didn't help at all. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Increase our naval spending. Empire is fighting inevitably for it. No. Not gonna help with that. <laughs> Sicily. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Too bad for y'all. Alright. I think I'm probably gonna cut it here. <clears throat> that way we can, uh, you know, uh, move on, maybe take the left bank, we'll see what's going on. Yeah, add an, audio, add an hour, I think it's uh, time to cut that. Alright, I'll be back. <laughs>